It started with the nursing program at 1960 out at uh, Muddy. And um, from there, I think people began to realize there was a need for more than just the nursing program. The nursing program was totally embraced by the college from its inception into the college uh, by the academic world. And this was, this made me feel good. There was this realization that people in this area, not just kids, but the people in this area needed access to higher education. When the day they voted to establish the college, people were lined up all the way around the square. We had a referendum to become a class one community college. When the vote came in, it was overwhelmingly supported. When the bond issue was put up for a vote to fund the initial campus, overwhelming support. Uh, bond issues for later development, overwhelming support. But the first year I was a member of SIC, our classes were in the high school. We had no offices of our own. Uh, the bells rang all the time because the high school kids were changing classes. Classes were held in businesses and offices and just any spare space. The house on the hill where Mary Jo Oldham uh, Center stands right now was the house on the hill and um, the uh, what is where the tech building now is. That was a temporary, quote, temporary facility that turned out to be pretty permanent. We loaded the semis and we came out to, to what is now the vocational building, but not the, the new part, just that metal building. And all of our classes were in there. Forestry and nursing were located out at Muddy in the old grade school, and the vocational programs were located out on South Fiesel Street. I think Joe Deaton did a good job getting things started. But I think the reason this school took off was when Harry Abel became president. I mean, he just kind of put the puzzles, the puzzle together as to how he was going to do it. Dr. Abel emphasized classroom. He emphasized that more than bells and whistles. He really wanted permanent, full-time faculty members teaching classes. When Dr. Abel started the SIC Foundation, his goal was to raise a million dollars. And at that point in time, a million dollars sounded like climbing Mount Everest. And they did it. And after they reached a certain point where they were able to make money on the money that they had accumulated, boom, that's when all of the scholarships for the foundation began. I worked for five presidents, Joe Deaton, uh, was the first. Dr. Harry Abel was uh, selected to be the next president. When he passed away, Dr. Ben Cullors became president. Then when he retired, Dr. Oldham became president. And then Dr. Comiskey, the board of trustees, selected wisely in the leadership and the administration hired wisely. The people who come into those buildings are really what the programs are all about. And that is, I think, what has been the strength of Southeastern, is finding the right people uh, for the right job. I always felt like Southeastern had a strong academic program. Uh, I think the teachers, the professors were proud of that. And I think that's one of the things that attracted me to move over here and to stay here. I saw people who, who were hired young and, and stayed because it's a good place to work. If you were a, a member of SIC, you were flat out a member of SIC. They just accepted you. I think it's the friendships of the faculty and staff and the knowledge of, of and the friendships with all the students. SIC always had that family feel. Everybody was there to help and support each other and to do what needed to be done to make every student as successful as possible. We, we worked together, we fussed and fought, as family members sometimes do, but in the end, we were always back together again. Those folks, whether they be in the past or whether they be some of the ones uh, here in the, the, the current times and contemporary times, have always come together as a family. 
Uh, and, and that's, I think, what makes us uh, a real crown jewel here in uh, the middle of the Shawnee National. I think for a lot of the students, being able to, at first, you know, they think they want to get away, they can't wait to get away and go someplace else to school. But when they are able to stay home and get their first two years at an affordable price, then they're ready to move on. Not all of them want to become teachers or doctors or lawyers, and they need a good skill. They need top-notch skills, and they can get that here. 1977 through the mid-80s, there were more vocational students than there were academic students. There were a lot of offerings for students to go ahead and get a certificate or get an associate's degree and just go to work. We just helped students so well. We had good relationships with U of I and Eastern and SIU and Murray and USI and SEMO, places that because of our geographic location, students would go out of state but still be close to home. We focused on curriculum. If you wanted to go to U of I, there was one for U of I. If you wanted to go to SIU, there was one for SIU. We would literally, Murray State, we would really try to, to pinpoint the exact classes that a student needed to, you know, to move on and start their junior year. The University of Illinois would put out GPAs, grade point averages, for every year for freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And they would divide those into those students who started at the U of I and those who transferred in. And Southeastern students always had a higher GPA than the native students who started the U of I. And after several years of that, the U of I stopped putting out those percentages. So how do we prepare? We really prepare them quite well. You know, I've heard a lot of people say that um, if you go to a, a junior college that you will be behind when you start your junior year. I experienced the complete opposite of that. Um, with all of my junior classes when I transferred to U of I, uh, I was ahead of the curve. The top three graduates of St. Louis College of Pharmacy, three years in a row, the top graduate from St. Louis College of Pharmacy were students who transferred from SIC. For the classes that I took, the basic sciences, the biology, the chemistry, um, all those early science classes, I really learned in there. Um, because you're not just a number, you're not just a, a, a one person in a, a 200 uh, you know, you know, person lecture hall. You're, you're uh, a person that, 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 that these teachers want to help. They want to see you be successful. They came here, they learned what college courses were about, and they had the academic rigor that required them to study, and that gave them the foundation of how to accomplish successfully their academic requirements before moving on. I think one of the ways is that the faculty themselves at the college, whether they're taking an English prep class or anything in general studies, encourages them to go on. Your core curriculum that we have here is very, very strong. And we have had students go to the, the best colleges anywhere and excel. Well, it's because of those hardworking classroom teachers. SIC really allows you an environment where there are professors there that will help you. They'll, they'll help you to see your potential, uh, what, what you can do. If you're struggling, they'll help you with the content and, and kind of give you confidence that you can do this. You know, there's an old saying, you can't get blood out of a turnip, but they did. Southeastern literally got blood out of a turnip because of the excellence of programs, of extracurricular activities. Uh, when you look and see what, like our forensic falcons and the things that they've accomplished, other clubs and other groups on campus, the theater department, the art department, you look at things like this and you realize just what was achieved with very few resources as far as money. Uh, human resources, we had it all the time. It's amazing to see how much we've grown since those three buildings when I came out here as a student. We've added a phenomenal child study center that is just so, so important to our region. We've seen the growth of uh, the theater program and the music and the art programs and the 
uh, Visual and Performing Arts Complex, the new administration building. Uh, we've seen expansion to our technical center, a new nursing wing on campus. The Hearn Outdoor Educational Complex was just uh, a bunch of forest property a number of decades ago, uh, and now it's blossomed into a huge center for coal mine training uh, for the nation. I don't think we recognize how lucky we are to have a, a, an academic institution right in our backyard as a rural community. You know, for almost anything as rural America, we have to drive, you know, 40 to 50 minutes to get to it. And, and for our, our community and our district, I mean, we've got a, a really solid college that's, you know, li literally in our backyard. SIC is um, an amazing place, and I think our region is, you know, so blessed to have this institution. You have a college 10 minutes away. Wow, you know, I mean, and it doesn't cost anywhere near as much as going to a university. If SIC wasn't there, I don't know that I would have been able to go to college because I couldn't afford to drive hundreds of miles. I certainly couldn't afford to um, live in a dorm or, or rent an apartment at the age of 18. I just think Southeastern is one of the best things going in Southeastern Illinois. I had a professor taking classes at SIU tell me, well, if students are any good, they wouldn't go to community college in the first place. And I just wanted to hit him. I just wanted to hit him to try to knock some sense into him because we have had so, so many fine students. But I think one of the things we had to overcome was perception around the, uh, the state that these little kids from these little rural schools uh, couldn't compete. But by God, they can. Southeastern Illinois College is a vital, vital part of this region. We not only create a number of jobs, but we also provide a number of jobs. Southeastern is known for its phenomenal career and technical education programs such as welding, and diesel, as well as our very successful transfer education, where we have many students who go on to become doctors, lawyers, teachers, engineers, and so many other admirable and wonderful professions. Our nursing department has been ranked nationally and statewide for many, many years, and that is an extremely vital part uh, for the positive health care uh, system that we have in southeastern Illinois. Southeastern has served the region for well over half a century, and we look forward to that continued great service for many decades to come. Hello, I'm Leslie Farrell, Vice President and Chief Nursing Officer at Harrisburg Medical Center and a 1999 graduate of SIC. I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you to help continue the important work that Southeastern does by joining the Falcon Society for only $84 per month. These dues provide the backbone for the hundreds of scholarships awarded to SIC students each year, allowing them to pursue their career goals. Visit www.sic.edu forward slash giving to learn more about the various ways you can support students or email giving at sic.edu today to get started.